Hi, my name's Tim and I use Sucker Spawn. Aside from the self-loathing part, I really do enjoy fishing the pattern because it simply catches fish. A Dairiki number 125 in size 12 or 14 is my choice of hook for Sucker Spawn intended for trout. I begin by mashing the barb. Just because I'm not a purist doesn't mean I'm a barbarian. For thread, UTC 70 in red works well. Start your thread on the hook shank, leaving a little bit of space behind the eye, and take wraps rearward to the hook point. I like to add just a little sparkle to the pattern with a few strands of crystal flash. Secure the crystal flash to the top of the hook and then snip it off at about a shank's length. By all means, save the remainder of the crystal flash for another fly. Although other materials will work, Angora Rabbit Yarn is the sentimental favorite for sucker spawn. Here I've chosen two slightly different colors, salmon egg and flesh. Cut equal lengths of each, two to three inches should do it for a size 12 hook. Snip one set of ends off square and then secure them to the top of the hook shank at the base of the tail. Angora can be a little slick so make tight wraps to keep it from rotating. I like to give a little twist to the yarn strands before making a small loop and tying it down. This helps to make more defined egg shaped bulges. Take wraps both over and in front of the yarn. Repeat the twist, loop, and tie-in process up the hook shank, alternating which side of the hook the loop lands on as you go. The loops in the middle of the fly should be slightly taller than those at the ends to produce the classic sucker spawn profile, if there is such a thing. At the head of the fly, you can fold back or simply snip off the remainder of the yarn. There shouldn't be a lot. Use a five or six turn whip finish to complete the fly and snip or cut your tying thread free. You should end up with something like this. I really like the look of two similar colors twisted together along with a requisite red underbelly. It's a good idea to carry a variety of colors in case you run into some finicky trout. I consider myself only a recreational user of sucker spawn, so I really don't have a problem.